If I have a raw image from my camera or a DNG image from my camera, I can use the Adobe uh, Camera Raw plugin to edit that image and have full control over all of the features of the image. However, what happens if I have um, a JPEG image? Well, inside Photoshop, even if I have a JPEG and not a raw image, I can use the filter, the Camera Raw filter, open this up and Inside this window, I have all of the controls that are available to me in Adobe Camera Raw, but I can also apply them to just a JPEG image. Now I've got an image here that's fairly washed out, not very exciting. So I'm going to start to play with it. And all of these uh, filters, etc., and features are the ones that are also available to me in Lightroom and the Camera Raw plugin. So I'm going to, first of all, use Dehaze. I'll jump back to the basic panel and I might just pull the highlights down a little bit. I'm going to pull those shadows up to get a little bit more information um, in the image. I'm going to increase the clarity a little bit just to add a little bit more excitement to it. Maybe a little bit of vibrance as well. And I can even um, jump off to the highlight saturation or sorry, hue saturation and luminance. I might jump into the saturation and just pull those greens down a little bit in the image so they're not sort of too distracting in there. I might even jump to the luminance and also just darken those greens down a little bit. I might pull the yellow and the orange up so that I've got some really, that's a little bit far, I'll pull that down a little bit and some of those purples. And just in a few moments, I've now really changed that image and made it much more exciting using the Camera Raw filter inside Photoshop, even though it was a JPEG image.